in between the border. Where did you get it from? I got it from the stall over there. Wow, is there any problem with it? Are you sure that food is not bad? Hmm, how do I make sure that meat is not Yeah, I do an idea. What if you make meat by myself? Oh, I have heard about kacang meat from other countries, but I don't really get the details. No worries, let us our lecture. Hmm. The student asked me about culture meat. Okay. This is student. Culture meat is also known as in vitro meat or laboratory grown meat. The meat produced from stem cell biopsies of cattle. The stem cell culture in a bioreactor in the presence of serum to grow the flesh to maturity. Culture meat technology originated from regenerative medical technology. However, it has been given a new lease of life to produce culture meat as an innovative food source in the future without involving cattle breeding. Culture meat has been viewed from Malaysia to explore the service halal food industry. Muslim consumers should consume food according to the Islamic concept that serve spiritual and physical well-being. The Yiban food also means nutritious food that benefits the physical and spiritual effects. The best food helps to prevent disease and improve health and optimum level. Six categories of nutrients, vitamins, protein, mineral, carbohydrate, fat and fiber are important for the body. There are three factors that need to be considered to allow culture meat to be eaten by Muslim consumers. First, the type and source of animal cells used must comply with Islamic laws. Second, the medium used for cultural stem cells in natural meat. The last one is the biomaterial used in proliferation of the structure and morphology of meat. Let's look at this slide. Cultured meat is not yet categorized as an exigent food because Malaysia import beef meat from several countries. Malaysian imported Halal certified beef meat in 2019 from India 73%, Australia 16%, New Zealand 5%, and Brazil 4%. With a net import value of $485 million USDA, Foreign Agricultural Service, Malaysia 2020. Benefits of cultured meat. First, does not harm animals which is eliminates the need for countless harmful procedures, not to mention slaughter itself. Second, it frees up land. Cultivation of animal cells can enable production of meat without needing to raise farmed animals, which requires smaller quantities of agricultural resources like land. Third, environmental sustainability. It reduces greenhouse gas emissions, deforestation, and water pollution associated with conventional meat production. The process begins by obtaining a small sample of animal cells from a living animal, typically through a biopsy. The cells that are usually used for cultured meat production are muscle cells. Once the cells are obtained, they are placed in a controlled environment in a bioreactor. The bioreactor provides the cells with a nutrient-rich medium containing essential elements such as amino acids, vitamins, and minerals. The cells multiply and grow, forming muscle tissue. The muscle tissue continues to grow and mature in the bioreactor. This maturation process can take several weeks. Once the cultured meat has reached the desired level of maturity, it is harvested from the bioreactor. The tissue is then processed to remove any scaffolding materials or non-muscle cell components. The harvested tissue may be combined with other ingredients, such as fats and flavorings, to enhance the taste and mouthfeel of the final product. The cultured meat can be shaped into various forms, such as burgers or steaks. Example of 3D printer used for cultured meat and how it works. The objective is to make food that tastes and feels like meat without actually being meat. Some scholars argue that if the cells used to produce cultured meat are obtained from halal sauce and the process does not involve any harm ingredients or technique, then the end of the product will be considered halal. It will be a pleasure if we can collaborate with Jackin and Mara in this innovation to spread the knowledge about this cultured meat while ensuring the halal status of this meat.